What's up, this is EasyOS 10 and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to update your Mac OS 10 system as well as a couple other utilities that are bundled in with the Mac. Um, a lot of new users to Mac don't know how to update their system. Usually Apple will pop up a little notification if it senses an update, but it's not a bad idea, especially when updates come out, to go ahead and download them manually using Apple Software Update. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really, really simple. Start by going to the Apple menu here and clicking Software Update. Then it's going to do a quick scan through Apple's repositories. You'll get updates for things, of course, like um, the OS X systems, um, any kind of firmware updates for, let's say, uh, your Wi Fi, your audio, all that kind of stuff. Those will be for specific Macs, but for all Macs, you'll get things like iTunes, again, Mac OS X software, QuickTime. And for some older systems or people who got apps um, before the Mac App Store, you will get things like iWork updates, um, iLife updates as well that will come through software update. If you bought them now, though, through the uh, Mac App Store, you will not get them through software update. They will update through the Mac App Store. Now, if you have any updates for your system, software update will pop up this window. You can click Show Details, Not Now, or Continue. I recommend hitting Show Details. That way you know exactly what you're updating. And in case of any sort of error, if you need to take it into a shop or a computer professional, you can tell them what exactly it updated. Um, and that really helps any computer person know how to fix it. At least they know where to start. So this is showing I have an update for Airport Utility and um, OS X Lion. I'm going from 10.7.2 to 10.7.3. Um, if you want to install something, just make sure it's checked, which by default it will be. If I don't want to install something, like let's say I don't want to update um, Airport Utility, I will just uncheck it. Now this little triangle right here in the circle, that basically means, hey, when this is all said and done, you're going to have to restart your computer. That's all that means. So if I just updated Airport Utility by itself, the computer is not going to restart. Um, doing it for OS X is going to require a restart. And that's usually how it is. Um, so far, occasionally will also require a, a manual update, excuse me, a restart, not a manual update, uh, a restart, but that's because how tightly it's integrated within the system. So, And the other nice thing about this detail screen is when you click on an update, you can see what exactly um, Apple is telling you how it, what it's updating. In this case, uh, Lion 10.7.3 is putting in some more languages, uh, addressing an issue with smart cards, compati compatibility excuse me, with Windows, and a couple other issues that they don't tell. And you can always find out more. So, before you start any of these updates though, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you back up. So in case there is an error and something goes horribly wrong, you have at least a copy of the data. Anyway, so this has been EasyOS 10, and thank you for watching my video.